one, two. Yes. So we're going to be talking about how to stay healthy. And it's so important these days because we're in a crisis. Um, businesses are closing and business is slowing down. But and we are, we can't communicate with people. We have to isolate ourselves. And so how do we stay healthy? What is the best way to take our supplements every day? And I, we will be talking to Dr. Brooke Alexander and um, Zach Lakaris, who is a molecular biologist. And take it away, Brooke. Tell us all about what do we need to do these days, especially with the COVID, COVID virus that's going around everywhere. I mean, internationally. Brooke. Yes. Um, my colleague is a great ER doctor um, from out of state, and he put together 13 things you can do. You know those books that um, reading books for dummies, repair computers, doing plumbing for dummies. And he said 13 things to stay well for dummies. And I will be reading those 13 things. But I wanted to add two things that you can do from myself, Dr. Brooke. And the first thing is what you can do, um, how to protect yourself. And, you know, one of those things is to first say, can you please um, take 10 minutes or if you have the luxury, 20 minutes, but at a minimum of 10. Our daughter, Tommy Camerano, is home from Central Michigan University and is a neuroscience and psychology major. And that is so important, the brain, heart, body, and mind connect. So if you're religious, 10 minutes of prayer. If you're not, yoga, meditation, just 10 minutes every day, but not just during times of COVID, the rest of your life. Um, and then the second thing, very, very important, vitamin supplementation. You cannot possibly get enough of the nutrients, otherwise we would all be obese. The USA is a obese nation. We have now a third in our country and many other great nations as well in the world. And so what my family, my children, my patients I've always recommended is for adults, vitamin D3. Right here, my family and I take this. Nature Maid's one of them, but anyone, as long as they're chewable or capsule form or liquid form. And these are the D3. They're 50 micrograms, other known wise as 2,000 IU. So a recommendation of children 12 months and older, 2,000 IU a day. And for most of you who don't know this, since 2008, the American Academy of Pediatrics has recommended all newborns, any newborn born, to have 400 IU of vitamin D3 a day because mothers are essentially deficient and insufficient in it. And all children, newborns are born deficient and insufficient, even if you breastfeed, why they, why even if you have formula. Why are they essentially uh, deficient? Well... Those rumors have been floating around, obviously now the year is 2020, for over 13 years. Many, many, many theories, hypotheses have gone around. You can say it's due to our vast environmental problems, our chemicals, our BPHs in every plastic bottles we're using around the world, our carbon monoxide factors, our emission factors, our parts per million, um, where the COVID vi virus started, we, you know, many of my colleague and Chinese say, please don't call it the Chinese virus. We're already being prejudiced about that. So they, we want to call it COVID. So don't call it the Chinese virus. And I said, I agree. Many of you don't know, but I have Blackfoot and um, we think it's Cherokee on the uh, mother's side, but definitely 100% Blackfoot on um, father's side of the family. So we're all mixed. And my uncle, one of my twin uncles, did an actual DNA test. And he was Native American Indian, Russian, German, and Irish. So, so, why, so you know. But why is, the vit the, why is vitamin D so important? Especially, I mean, if we're talking about the COVID virus right now, why is vitamin D important? Well, for many of you out there who are parents, and let's face it, a lot of us are. Or we're we were all, everyone was born from a parent. So none of you can say, can't get away with, hey, that doesn't apply to me. So, Unless you're Jesus, of course. <laughs> he had a mother. No yeah, one will disagree sure, with that. Sure, Everyone sure. knows that Mary was his mother. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even okay, so I, vitamin, I talk to religious scholars and theologians. So 
It is important because it is goes into the mitochondria, the nucleolia of every cell of your body. And this is found at USC, University of Southern California, has it on their website. So it is Israel University, Israeli University, Montreal, and it can be found in Germany and Russia universities, as well as my Croatian university. So I'm probably missing a few, and I do apologize for that. Oh, and Australia. And of course, United States universities. So I mentioned USC. But even La Leche League, and I met Dr. La Leche at mm -hmm. Hoke Hospital in Newport Beach mm -hmm. many years mm -hmm. ago. And I've been on that, that staff at that hospital formally since 2004 and um, no longer as of January 2016. Yeah. So I had yeah. the pleasure of meeting him. La Leche League put out that in 2008 that you must supplement your newborns with 400 IU. So Why? he has said it's Why? imperative because it goes into the nucleoli of every cell and it has been known to be a predictor and it's in if you just google this or yahoo or bing you will find out that it may be a colon cancer breast cancer ovarian uterine cancer and prostate cancer also my colleagues right now are doing studies with autism and the autism spectrum disorder also various rheumatologic diseases including lupus Mm -hmm. rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. diabetes type 1 and 2, and those are considered pro-inflammatory diseases. So almost everything to do with your neurological autoimmune diseases and every endocrine organ in your body, including your brain. So as we know it, if you think about it, almost every organ in your body, including all the cancers we know. So almost every disease that you can think of and how your body influences and interacts epigenetically or genetically, it is the source. And we now know that if every newborn is born deficient or insufficient and we must start supplementation, then it's a problem. Some sources, and I will say all over the world, have linked this to our genetically modified organs. Please don't quote me. I am saying that there are sources all over the world that say that through Monsanto's corporation and the GMOs. Am I saying that? No. I am stating that there are multiple sources all over the world that have said that. I am telling you that everything is multifactorial. You, you will get it, doctors and scientists and, and politicians arguing till the day is long. It is not one solution. It is multifactorial, which is why our it's Alexander Sokmet, Sokmet Alexander Clinic with our marine uh, molecular biologist, Zach Vakaris, and um, Kelly Martin from CEO of Inovium Labs, we are taking a precision-based, which is individual, and preventative medicine-based it has to be that now. We have the technology. We've had certain technologies like pharmacogenomics for over two decades. So you must do this to prevent medicine. And we're doing this at the lowest cost possible. Yeah. And so, we want so, to help yeah, everyone. I want to, to be giving about, these vitamins to people. I want mm -hmm. to ask you more about the vitamin D. So, I mean, you can't just go into the sun and go, okay, I've, I've got enough vitamin D today, right? No. The work. sun you must get without any sunscreen whatsoever. And recently, studies around the world have said it actually has more toxicity, can cause cancers and cause organ damage than it will do you good. However, zinc oxide will directly block the sun so you will not sunburn. That we know can cause cellular damage and cause skin cancers like squamous cell and um, um, what we know today where doctors have to do most surgeries it can cause melanoma so mm -hmm. I am not telling you not to wear sunscreen Australian based lizard which I I don't have any stock in that or any stock at all I do donate monies for the last 32 years all over the world so don't t think I have stock in Australian based lizard but it's a zinc oxide based one of our 10-year-old sons is absolutely allergic to most things on this planet. So my dermatologist and allergist had to tell us which ones he could use because he's allergic to all of the natural, I'm uh, sorry, to all of the sunscreens that you yeah. can think of. And it's not just because they're um, liquid-based or, or lotion-based or ointment-based or cream or so, spray. So, he so cannot you say, use it. Okay, he so only use it zinc uh, oxide-based. Are you guys yes, giving an echo when I'm talking? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't have it. I might have to I put don't. headphones in, I think. Hold on. Okay. Let me, let me put one. Okay, I have so, no echo. So, okay, so I'm, I want to ask, so you've got to take vitamin D, okay, because you can't get it from the sun. So what about vitamin C? Yes, so the next one, and this is I'm taking directly from my Chinese collegiate physician colleagues when yeah. they were in the heat of it. 
Now they've gone on the third day of not having any new infections. They've had over 83,000 infections and um, oh, close to six, seven, 8,000 dying of yes. it. This yes. is now day number three. We're at day three. Yes. of no new infections in China. My Chinese colleagues gave me this list. So vitamin C chewable, my family and I and friends and family, and I put this on my 30,000, all of my, if you count up all of my different social medias. Mm -hmm. And again, our company, we want to be at humanitarian based and one of them is not for profit. So we're okay. giving this information for free you. <laughs> And yeah, my no, family's taking but, this. I mean, I'm so, not going to harm you. So, so I'm going to tell you vitamin C, C right here. It's mm -hmm. 500 milligrams. It's chewable. It's 556% of the recommended RDA. So okay. we don't recommend more mm -hmm. than this because it can cause kidney damage. So when I say take 500, I don't want you to go out there and take 2,000 or 5,000 milligrams. You what, can why, actually why have cause, kidney why harm. Why does it cause kidney damage? What is it that causes kidney damage, Brooke? Well, it depends on what the level of a kidney disease that you have and what other drugs do you interact. So right. a healthy young person who's um, what's called a glomerular filtration rate is 110. It may not cause any. Yeah. But if you right. have an older person with a glomerular right. filtration rate that's at 60 or 70, if they took 1,000 or 2,000 a day, they might go into complete kidney failure. So th again, everything is individual based. That's why when I talk to senators, when I talk to politicians, when I talk to other physicians or doctors that are not familiar and can't calculate EGFRs based in their head and say whether or not they're CKD, one, two, three, four, five, or in failure, and I can calculate all of this in my head, I say, listen, you know, please, everything's individual based. I can't just give you a zip it, you know, without knowing what's their EGFR, what is their BUN, what is their creatinine, what other so diseases that's for, they have, that's for and every what person, that's that's every person that you're talking to. Yes, exactly. but I can safely so, say you can probably get away near nearly everyone over the age of 12 months with this, and you okay. probably will will not suffer any kidney damage. But don't take more than this, please, unless okay. you've consulted with your doctor. And then, so, then what, I, so what else? I have more. What else? Mm -hmm. A multivitamin. Children need to take the pediatric equivalent. It generally is two a day. My husband and I and our adult daughters, we have two, 26 and 18, take this, two a day. Chewable is my favorite form because I know they'll chew it up and, and have it. The tablets that have the coats on them, they do not absorb. So you can say it all day long, but if it's a tablet with a heavy coat, through years of seeing patients, 32 years in hospitals with ileostomies or colostomies. Um, yes. Okay, and then, uh, but these ones are okay. Yes, capsules, capsules or tablets okay. that don't, yeah, or tablets that don't have a heavy coating on them. There are, you know, certain products I've already touted on our cert, our other webinars that didn't have a heavy coating and they're fine, yeah. but they're made by very good reputable medical companies. So I don't want to just blanket it all and say all tablets. Remember yeah. that I've yeah. already quoted yeah. a few companies. Okay, and then so the big ones. This is for prevention. Vitamin. C, 500, vitamin D, 2000 IU, 400 IU, a newborn to 12 months, and then multivitamin. Now, my colleagues in China said, because they were the first ones to have this, if you'd get early symptoms of COVID-19, remember, for 14 days, up to 14 days, you can have mild symptoms. And if you get them, then they, what do they recommend? Ginger and ginseng. Now, my patients have always laughed at me because I do like now, I don't want to say cheap things, but bargains. I am the biggest bargain hunter on the planet. Right now, we have four children and my husband, and all of them want to go to graduate school. So are you kidding me? I went to the dollar store and ginseng for 30, and these are soft tablets. These okay. will be absorbed in the stomach. There is no coating whatsoever on them. They were a dollar, 250 milligrams, and you take two tablets that, once a that, day. Is that the 99 cent store or the actual Dollar General? Which one? The uh, Dollar General. Thank it's you. just a few blocks from our home. Yeah, because they but do. But you can see them at the 99 cent store. Okay, okay. ginseng. So, check so what's ginseng good for? Well, ginseng right here says may support energy function. Again, we're going back to powerhousing the mitochondria in every cell okay. of your body. Okay. okay. And then you said ginger? Also, ginger. Now, Many of your gastroenterologists are not going to like this out there for me to say this. However, I've gone to recent grocery stores, including Target's in all of the Orange County stores. 
And I was in Los Angeles downtown for to see Frozen. I love Frozen. We must think about music at this time. I hope you're playing music for your children and yourself. You must yeah. consider music. Okay. <laughs> so when we saw that musical um, Ginger. in January, Ginger. My, I'm talking about Ginger. Okay. I'm letting you know. When we saw that musical in January, I went to the Target in downtown Los Angeles. It was the biggest Target I've ever seen. And I was trying to find some ginger snap cookies because I was getting a little bit of heartburn. And I like to was trying to switch all natural. I took myself off of Prevacid that my doctors had me on. I took myself off of in between that. They were giving me uh, an H2 blocker, which just blocks acid, Pepsid, Tegamet. It's all over the counter. So my insurance won't even pay for it. We have a great PPO. But if any drug my physicians prescribe for me are over the counter, the insurance will charge more than an over the counter price, yeah. which doesn't make so, any sense yeah. whatsoever. So you're looking for ginger? So I looked for ginger cookies and ginger snaps. Target had cleared them all off their shelves. All of their regular cookies, and I, I even asked the head store manager, they said we will no longer um, inventory them at any of our stores unless it's the holidays. I said, are you kidding me? Then I went to the vitamin section or vitamins, however you'd like to say that, all gone. That's why I had to go to the dollar store and get my ginger or ginseng. So I ended up getting, where is it? I just had it. To, to yeah. your right, to your right. Okay. You're right. You can come past they can't see my ground it. ginger. The little green uh -oh. thing, you put it down there. No, no, no. It's my ground ginger. Oh, okay, I, so, I, I, so, so I mean, ginger, but gin, ginger's, ginger's used in like soups and stuff for a reason. You know, there's yes, uh, oh, here it is. Yeah. So, what is so, ginger good for? I ended is, up getting ground ginger, ginger at the Target in Los Angeles to sprinkle on my meals that weekend with my husband because we had, no, um, no, I want to you know, know, what's ginger good for? Ginger, I just mentioned. I remember I had the heartburn. Yes, the heart but what, why, is it, why is it good for, for, for as a supplement? It's heartburn. So this has been used in all of Asia, East Asia and South Asia. So most of the Asian countries, so Indonesia, Japan, China, uh, and, India, yeah. Pakistan, and all I of my that, I mean, I, I, I cook with ginger all the time, all the time, whether it's fresh or and powerful or whatever. But what is it good for as a supplement? That's what I was just telling you. It helps prevent heartburn. So gastroesophageal reflux disease, but, which then so can what, lead what? to ulcer formation. It can also lead to um, bleeding and you know, even intestinal and gastric perforation because that general, can lead to ulcer. General, yeah, but if I don't have heartburn, I never suffer from heartburn, why should I take ginger? But by the well, way, I do I'll, suffer from heartburn. When I but, talk about cancer, yes. we now know that a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori right, can induce ulcer, intestinal bleeding, esophagitis. It's unknown to you. You may not think you suffer from it. That can cause induced polyp formation, which then can induce your risk for what? Colon and gastrointestinal cancers. So, so what you're saying, what you're saying there, Brooke, is that this is ginger, is, uh, ginger, has anti, and ginger has, what you're saying here is that ginger has antibiotic properties against heliobacteria in the gut. Is that what you're saying? No, anti-inflammatory against all of the other properties. Right. I, you, right. I've seen a couple of the antibiotic properties. I don't want to right. say that yet. You're kind of jumping the gun right. for me, but I'd say it has pro auto and anti-inflammatory well, properties. Pro probiotic and anti-inflammatory, basically. There you go. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. So I didn't, right. I'm not right. saying, I didn't know about the probiotic, right? I didn't know yes. about that as that is a, a part of the probiotic. Yes. Yeah, That's I have many of my Indian colleagues and friends are on my Facebook and people want to know, but they're amazing. I've been following Indian herbs and spices for many years. In fact, my children see a doctor who actually went to school and practiced in India. And I so, send mm -hmm. so many, my, my staff was afraid to see the little ones. So mm -hmm. I'd send them upstairs to see her in Newport Beach, Dr. Ash Misra. She is phenomenal. Yeah. And um, Dr. Yeah. Laksimi Why Shukla was one of the best. Because she is phenomenal. She actually trained in India and literally has seen almost every disease you can th think of. But she's very calming and knows about all alternative as well as Eastern and Western medicine. We understand that bridging the gap, yeah. that you can't say well, one medicine is better than the other. You have to know how to able to blend them because people have lived for centuries. So you can't throw out one and say 
one's bad, one's good, which what that's what we've done with Western medicine. We've literally closed the book on Eastern medicine and said, it's bad. We need to blend them together. I mean, one, one of the things that like probiotic, probiotic means additional as opposed to antibiotic, which means taking away. And so an antibiotic yes. kills all bacteria in your body, whether it's no, a good no, one or not. No, not all antibiotic. You have to remember that some antibiotics are bactericidal and some are just bacteriostatic. Okay. That's why you, you get, that's why some people, if you don't finish your antibiotics, your whole seven days, your whole 10 days, a bacteria antibiotic that was actually bactericidal now just becomes bacteriostatic and the bacteria grow up again. And that's how we get resistance in our yeah. Western countries. So, so that's uh, why people... That's You've got not like, the it's, it's like in boxing it's terminology, you could have a get a full ten second the count. Doctors. But then in the boxing in boxing terminology, it's a full ten second count knockdown. And then <laughs> yeah. that's a proper knockout. Not if just, just get one patients, second. He got up off listen. the floor, it was an eight count. What can I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. if we could just get patients to, to listen to their doctors. But yeah. I'm I, I do the same thing. When I'm a patient, I don't listen to my doctor all the time either. Sometimes it's very, very good, but sometimes yeah, it's exactly. my, I'm bad. Exactly. So so but what, I tell what the kids, else do I'm we... a bad mom. Yeah. So and they what... say, Mommy, you're the best mom ever. Yeah, you let so us stay up late, sec, you give sec. cookies in our lunch, and, and you're the best Brooke? mommy. I'm like, that's exactly yeah. why I'm a bad mom. Brooke. So what's the what's the next thing? So we so we had vitamin D, vitamin C, we talked about ginger and ginseng. Vitamin. Multivitamin, yes. Now, my colleagues did this for me, and I looked up the studies myself because I never just like to talk without someone, without doing my own research. I yeah. will not do it. I yes. will stay up all night researching because we're used to being on call every so third night since yeah, medical next, school. So well, that's the next right here, I'm getting to it. Yes. It's, yes. I'm telling you, this is my research. So my colleague <laughs> said when they found out, it's an ancient Chinese herb that's been around for 2,000 years. Because remember, the coronavirus um, has been around. This is the COVID-19, it's named because it's the 19th coronavirus, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it happened, started in 2019. Mm -hmm. So there's hundreds of them, but they named COVID-19 for 2019 because that's when we identified it. Wow. It started in China. Wow. So that's why it's... 19 because oh, yeah. 2019 people yeah. it's the 19th virus not necessarily yeah. so what about however the that being that being said it, it's an herb they said that in 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 vitro in petri dishes they were able on some other coronaviruses to completely cure it which i still don't hear people talking about it but my chinese colleagues we have international physician lines that we speak on privately you guys don't get it here well so it's a good thing we can't let the public know everything right Nope. But I'm letting the public know this, and I put it on there because if me or my loved ones or my patients, and I consider the world my patients since I've gone and helped in 98 countries and 50 states, whether it's just been through teleconferencing or actually physically uh, uh, going there, that's how many uh, I've helped, is Bupurium. I can't see it. It's right here. Bupler, bu, bu, uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. Uh, Bupurium. Bupurium. Bupurium? Okay. Yep. Bupurium. So that's yeah. what they were giving them when they were sick. Okay, this is an ancient Chinese herb root, and you can Google this. But there are articles, multiple coming up, and they said if you, because what's happening now is I belong to an Orange County, South Orange County, um, mothers group with twelve thousand members in Orange County alone, and we've had many deaths here in Orange County, and we've had um, many cases. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, if, uh, I'm sorry, we've had a couple deaths and in many cases of it already uh, in Orange County. Okay. California has one of the highest records besides Washington and then there's New York. So the three yeah. highest states are here. And so the mothers are getting very worried. There's 12,000 of us. So they said, you know, um, my husband went in, we went in with it. It has it. They're in the hospital. They won't test me or the children. I've got a newborn at home. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And they're like, they're ignoring us. Or someone had it, someone's in, intubated, and we were all infected, and they won't test any of us. We're scared. What do we do? So they're at, So as a doctor, I feel almost obligated to, to go on there, and they're all messaging me, but to tell them, this is my family, and I'm going to treat DOs, doctors of osteopathic medicine, have always treated, and our philosophy has said, we treat our family like yours. So, you know, not that we go and have dinner and lunch with you guys yeah. and, you know, so what's <laughs> the, what but we do. Per, per, what's it called? It's Bupurium. Um, B-U-P-L-E-U-R-U-M. And um, it's a dietary supplement and it's an ancient herb 
and it's um, basically they think that you um, you know you give it as a supplement, a full scoop in a hundred grams. It's um, so proprietary blend. This one's a thousand milligrams of peony for meal. You would take this if you get the COVID, and they think that it's curative. Oh wow! That's, oh, that's what they used in China. Out. <laughs> well, again, I bought this, and I we even are growing it. My husband and I. And where does it come from? I did even further root. It comes from a, a Chinese rare bush called the hydrangea bush, but it's a specific kind. Mm -hmm. And this is traditionally used in, in Asian medicine for a urinary support, like prostates. But um, so I got powder and I got pills. Yeah. But historically, yeah. this was used for urinary support. And this is, um, they also add magnesium to it but it's from a very special hydrangea root, not the yeah. typical one, yeah. but it's a Chinese hydrangea root. I even bought the seeds. Okay. Um, so we, you, you, so. You've, men you've mentioned uh, magnesium. So what's magnesium? Do you t need to take magnesium on top of your uh, da I, daily supplement? Um, I take it, um, any patient that has any chronic diseases, I have autoimmune arthritis, I mentioned that in the last one because of my father had ankylosing spondylitis. Um, most doctors, and I found many cardiologists, of course, not the great ones, but when we have a heart patient in the hospital, the magnesium must level must be between two and three. Most laboratories say it has to at least be 1.5 and above, but no. It, it, it's a, again, it's um, an electrolyte, what we call it. But in your basic electrolyte panel, and even in your chemistry, Chem 18 or Chem 20 panel, magnesium is not listed. A patient may die of heart stopping in a hospital because no one did a magnesium level. It's not on a Chem 18, it's not on a Chem 20 panel, and it's not on your basic electrolyte panel, which is like a six level panel or five level. Mm -hmm. Mag levels often get overlooked. A magnesium level for functioning heart support has to be between two and three. So, so anyone who has any type of uh, heart disease should be taking a magnesium supplement every day. It's very two, hard two, to two, have two, your three, magnesium three, level go high. Two and what? three what? Two and three micrograms, two and three milligrams, two and three what? What's the uh, I believe it's like, um, uh, um, I think it's a nanogram per mil, but it's a, right. all the laboratories are universal. Right, right, okay, okay, right, okay, universal. So Thank you, you so finally got me. Grand. That's one level that just evaded me for a moment. Oh, yeah. What? So, so I'm taking two of 400 grams. Just because. Uh, I'll tell you what I take. I take, again, I, I, sorry that I have a favorite, but McGuff Medical Product, I take a chelated ma magnesium tablet, 250 milligram, right here. Uh, okay. Milligram. Can you see it? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So, and these ones, like I said, McGuff Medical Product are ones that I really trust as tablet form and they're not coated. So these I take every day for me. I don't have heart problems. However, my father died of heart failure at age yeah. 60, August 12th, 1994. Yeah. So I want to prevent heart problems. My echo's perfect. I had one. Thank you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so okay. in case any so, of you think I'm going to die, I don't want to tell anyone that. <laughs> no. So I have, um, what, so what else? So I, and okay, so we have the um, fish oils, right? That's important as well. Yes. Yes, I take these. They're a super omega-3 wild-caught fish, natural lemon flavor, 1,280 per serving. And I take two gel capsules a day right so, here. I mean, so we know that's very good for your heart and everything as well. Um, yeah. Exactly. And what right. the fish, if you want to eat naturally, the best fish you can on your omega-3 diet is cod, salmon, mackerel, herring, tuna, and your selfish. Um you, you know, shrimp, even frozen shrimp. I went to the dollar store yesterday because my, through my FQHCs where we saw 150,000 patients annually, and we also saw 45,000 on our first one, and I went into five counties in the last, even my Disney employees. I was the lead Sashimo physician for four months there this past year at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim. You know, not to say the Disney employees were necessarily, but the FQHCs they were. Federally qualified health centers, we see individuals homeless. So what did we do for those patients? And I wanted them to get foods for omega-3s and frozen. So I gave them 66 foods that's online you can buy at the 99 cent or dollar general store. And they accept food stamps. The so favorite store? <laughs> no, not my favorite. Um, I like Big Lots. 
I grew up going to the pick and save in no, California. No, no, no. I, 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 like I, I, think, I think the 99 cent store, you've got some real bargains in there. The one on Foster Boulevard is fantastic. It's got some yeah. amazing stuff in it. Yeah, really good. Is you Katarina really... in the room? Okay, is, okay. Is, Zach, is, is Katarina, Katarina in the room? Let's get back to, back to the I supplements, Easter guys. Bunny, I, I, got, I got some Easter Bunny things at the 99 okay. cent store. Okay. I got her My Little Pony. Okay, okay. And okay. so... Okay, so what... What Dog. are we going to be still going to talk about supplements? What else? What else? So we so we down to the magnesiums. So if we can garlic. quickly, quickly reel off. Like garlic. Okay. So, oh like yeah, garlic. garlic's very good for you. So quickly so reel people off. People ask me, quickly. as opposed to aspirin, Motrin products. And by the way, alert. I have an alert. Red alert like they do on Fox News or NBC News, CNN. Woo, woo. No, seriously. Um, they said, a flash alert yesterday evening. There's been some news. It's not a myth. That because, you know, you can sometimes with children and the flu virus, influenza, get RISE syndrome, R-E-Y-E-S. So they do not recommend aspirin products with children. So when that occurs, they, there's now alert about taking Motrin. Motrin is, is pro-inflammatory against the kidney and liver. I've had patients go into liver failure when they were taking 800 milligrams of Motrin. That would be four tablets over the counter up to 20, 10 times a day. Literally lying every time I ask them. And they put themselves into liver failure. So, of course, not our fault. So and we garlic, warned them not to. Garlic. So... So garlic is actually non-inflammatory. They're pro-auto-inflammatory, so they prevent inflammation. So this is natural. You could take the tablets, the chewables. You could take real. This is real garlic mm -hmm. in the cloves if I pulled it apart. Yeah. I just don't want to get stinky right yeah. now. So I have people wear garlic around their neck. You have to eat it. Sorry. And don't okay. put the city where okay. please. You so put it in the mouth. I have people ask me where should I put it in the mouth. You have to chew it or in your food. But um, so this is the alert is please. I have a warning for you. The high fever that goes with the COVID or any other virus right now. I would say I don't want you to take the Motrin because that came as an alert yesterday. China. Um, Italy says, please take Tylenol, acetaminophen products, or APAP, or paracetamol if you're in Europe so, or other so countries. So basically, basically don't Try that first. Do, so basically no Motrin, don't take no ibuprofen, ibuprofen products. No, no ibuprofen, no, no Motrin, Adult, just no aspirin. No yeah. aspirin. Oh, really? Unless your doctor tells you to. Oh, right. wow. No, I didn't know okay. that. I didn't know that. It That's just was important. yesterday evening. Let's they said, they said, don't stop if your doctor tells you, but try to see the medicine Tylenol first. It's ongoing right now. Okay, so we have a question from one of our, one of our listeners is, what about CBD oils? Um, that I have read that recently. In fact, I have a colleague of mine that out of Florida that um, has a lot of um, investment in that. CBD oil actually takes out the THC, which is the the basic raw form of marijuana that can get you know make you have you get patients high. CBD oil has interesting um, and remarkable effects around the world for people who need it for joint pain, um, inflammatory arthropathy, and that thing. I don't know. I haven't seen any articles at all because COVID nineteen is so new. Mm -hmm. But yes. if you're using it as a safe for your like your joint pain and other things, I suspect you can take it for those. But I have no news about anything about it for COVID nineteen. Okay. Sorry. So Zach, I mean, you were going to talk to us about what you guys are doing with supplements, and and also well, I mean, all, it's important to take the supplements um, um, in like, the correct order and the, and the certain type. But yes. yeah, I, that's great. Thanks, Veronica. Yeah, we um, well, we're, we're basically. Uh, Brooke, uh, uh, thank you, Brooke, for that. Uh, Brooke and myself, and with Kelly, who couldn't be with us today because she's on something else. Um, we we actually produce and distribute NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide. Uh, it's a very long word. We call it NMN. Um, what is NMN? Well, NMN, if if vitamin D are the pistons of the engine, right? That's the V8. That's your that's your V8 Chevy V8 block. Well, NMN is your, the best motor oil you can get to make that engine run as fast as possible. And that's what NMN does in, in, an, in, a, in a very sort of layman's terms. And, and what it, it essentially does is it powers up the mitochondria within the, the cell. Each cell has a cell within it, which is called a mitochondria. And it, it, in the ancient times, they were supposedly a different organism. 
in, in layman's terms, like Medichlorians in, in Star Wars, it's the same thing. It's like the force. And so what it is, is that powers up the, the engine of the cell. And the NMN, it, is, it, it, it allows the processes to go through into the cell that powers it up and gives it vascularization or opens up the pistons, allows the, the force of energies to go through it. And that's what we do. So we have actually had some good success, obviously, with the COVID-19 uh, uh, stuff going on. We've had some issues with getting our shipments supplied <laughs> as quickly as possible. We yes. sold out and now we've, had to, we've got a new shipment coming in. But we're, we're, we're back on track again now after the sort of, sort of uh, slowing down the shipments from our laboratory in uh, the Netherlands. But that's what we do. And you know, Brooke's very right. We, we have to have the order in which you take it. You have to take the vitamin D first. You have to have it chewable yes. because it, it allows it to break it down. You then have to add in your vitamin C. Yes. And you know, then you, you do in, you know, if you want to put in some of your garlic, I would do fresh garlic myself. Magnesium is a very underrated one. Everyone, that's where you get the, the shaky leg, the, the, the tingly leg stuff. Mm -hmm. That's very important. So I've got my three-year-old here. She's sort of fidgeting a bit. Okay. <laughs> They've all got the kids at home. Yeah, I know, I know. She, she comes back. No, here we go. Yeah, it's okay, darling. Um, so, so, yeah. So, I mean, the, basically, what I'm saying is they, if as we age, yes. the, the mitochondria, they become increasingly dysfunctional. It's a bit like your joints. They start mm. to lose mm. flexibility exactly. and so on and so exactly. forth. And in actual fact, the essence of aging is start right at the base at the mitochondria. As, as Brooke says, with the vitamin D. It's those things. That if you start at the base, you take care of the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves sort of thing, right? And so it's it's you've got to keep those mitochondria energized and then it can build within inside you the, the rejuvenational qualities. And that's what we do. Is, does that make does, sense? Is, yes. So does, is that um, why, I mean, because as you get older as well, I mean, everything goes downhill and a lot of people are not taking enough vitamins or maybe they're not taking vitamins at all, then they will be compromised with the COVID-19, right? Possibly, yes. 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 I mean, more yes, older possibly. people have gotten sick than, than younger people, right? Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. But it, it, in essence, with, with the mitochondria, you, you, you basically, it, it, it allows the, the energy, which is the energy transfer from something called adenosine triphosphate yes. to adenosine diphosphate. It's a breaking of a bond, ATP to ADP. And so what happens is that bond breaks and reseals, bond re breaks and reseals, and that's the energy of our cells. That's how it works. Mm. And what, what uh, N uh, NMN does is it allows that ADP, ATP oh. joint to work more smoothly mm -hmm. and goes on and on. And that's what it does. And, that's the, and it powers your cells, powers your uh, mm. immune system. Exactly. But it's not just... But no. it, same, using a car analogy, it's not just gasoline. Exactly. You've got to have engine oil. You've got to have yeah. your windscreen wipers. You've got to have everything, all of your yeah. pieces together. And you've got to have your, all your, your tires. Yes, yes, no, your your all tires your pumped. And yeah. I mean, this and, is just a small part of staying healthy, right? Yeah. Besides what you want to do is with, with this, you know, what I mentioned was the power of prayer or just meditation, yoga, or just being silent for those 10 minutes a day, every day by yeah. yourself quietly. Yeah. I tell mothers, even if you just lock that bathroom door for 10 minutes, mm. pretend just you're having the poop. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, and you're done. And then, the, then these uh, supplements and then, and like I said, 99 cent store and they take food stamps. If you um, eat your diet and remember 66 foods, Omega threes at the 99 cent store, and they take food stamps, so no one has excuses. However, if the diet's important, it is. Look, you can Google it everywhere. You can find it at a library. It is the blue zones, and Zach's from one of the blue zones. I'm from one of the blue zones. Blue zones. He's from blue the Greek zone. islands. Sparta. Where are you from, Zach? Tell everyone where you're from. from They'll Crete. probably want to know I'm with your Crete. accent. Crete. Which I know. Is I'm where? from Greece. Uh, Greece. Tell Greece. where that I is. Think it's in Greece. It's in so Europe. it's one of the. Greek, Greek islands, right? It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the biggest Greek island. Yeah, it's one yes. of the biggest islands in the Mediterranean. Mm. 
the, the it's best beautiful. place to see. I love the Greek islands. I personally haven't been there, but I, I got an opportunity to go to the Mykonos and Santorini. They're so beautiful. I'm from Southern California, and my favorite colleagues are from Loma Linda, California. Um, my One of my medical school colleagues is the medical director of the pediatric emergency room, Dr. James Monahan, mm-hmm. and has lectured for me multiple mm-hmm. times. He's amazing. And so the other places are Sardinia, Costa Rica, and Okinawa, Japan. All of those people, we all eat differently. However, they have an omega-6 to omega-3 two to one ratio. And remember the fish I already mentioned? Um, they also have super greens. What is this, everyone? You know what this is? Avocado. This is one of the biggest super green food you can eat. I eat this every day. Mm-hmm. And guess, guess what? You can buy these at your 99 cent stores, oh, one of those 66 so foods. <laughs> Sorry, but I people tell me, oh, well, you live in Orange County. That's why you eat avocados. No, I'm telling you, you can find this anywhere. Mm-hmm. And they're squishy. So I always, people say, how do you know if an avocado's ripe? I'm like, if you can squish it. Mm-hmm. And they're like, like what? I'm like, if you ever got one of those little, you know, for stress relievers, a little squishy one or a Nerf ball, that's mm-hmm. what it feels like. Mm-hmm. If it feels like a little bit of a Nerf ball, you know mm-hmm. it's ripe. So yeah. that's what I tell people. You know, yeah. don't go around squeezing all the avocados. You'll bruise them, though, please. Just so, the first one you feel that's a little squishy, pick it and put it in your cart or your little so, box. So, so that called the cart. You want, to take it, you want to take it from the top, just all the, all the really good vitamins that you should take for supplements just to keep your health. Help keep you healthy and yes. and protect you. So to start the vitamin D, 50 micrograms. Yeah. Yes, otherwise known as 2,000 IU um, of D3 a day for 12 months and above. 400 IU for newborns. Your multivitamin, two a day for adults, two for children. Your vitamin C, 500 milligrams chewable, five, which is 556 percent. Don't go above that. Your ginseng, 250. And then ginger, which it's hard to find right now. You can do any type of cookie or a ground ginger in your food or whole ginger clothes. You can clothes. get them in the 99 cent store. Really good. Yeah. yeah you can. You can. You got the big thing there. Of course. Yeah. Your key, I mentioned that, but I thought I was overdoing the 99 cent store. Well, Dollar no, General. No, 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 I don't do brands, so I'll include yeah. the Dollar General or Big Lots. Big Lots people. A key, or Target, you know, Walmart. Okay, so what the uh, key Lighted Mag. Well, I'm sorry. What is the next one? Chelated magnesium, 250. Mm-hmm. Uh, the super omega 3s, which are the, I do the 1280 milligrams, so two a day. And then um, the, the garlic, these are whole clove garlic right here, uh, the avocado foods we mentioned. And in the worst case scenario, if you were to get this, my Chinese colleagues put me onto this, the Boo Plurium. It's a 2000 year old ancient Chinese herb. Okay. And then I'm, what I and then we mentioned a probiotic. It, this has um, two probiotics because we're over inundated with antibiotics. And as you know, there is no cure right now. Yes. Yet there's been some experimental therapies, an anti-malarial drug. There's a few other drugs. There's even a stem cells, which um, we we we're doing stem cell trials. We're getting ready to start that again. But um, Bacillus um, coagulans and Bacillus subtilis. There's one billion and five billion units. I take this every day. It's a probiotic. You can also find it in cultured yogurt, which I have um, myself and my children take every day. So, and then and the, that's, la- uh, the last thing as well is, is is NMN, which is which is what we we can supply. We do it 300. We do 300 milligram tablets or 500 milligram tablets. The studies have shown there's absolutely no adverse effect whatsoever, uh, uh, well over 500 milligrams. The, the general other suppliers look at around about 125 to 250 milligram tablets. We have made the decision across the board to do it at 300, just to, to bump it up. And uh, again, it's coated. It's a capsule. It's not a tablet. It's not chewable. It's a capsule that breaks down. And so you put that in and that works very well. And those combined, I mean, for instance, there were studies done on um, mice yes. that showed that 509 ge- 590 genes were affected by, were, were by, by the NMN, of which 204 of those genes were actively reduced or reversed their aging process by having the energy come out of it. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say we would make you look 20 again or anything like that. <laughs> it's just that you would give you a lot of the energy and the dynamism that people so desire. And in these trying times, along with good mental stability, which is very important, whatever that is, whether it's, you know, 
you know, God, Jehovah, Buddha, whatever it is, whatever that is, it is that is uh, good mental stability. Plus the, the the supplement works very well. Okay, yeah. cool. And don't forget to laugh. Laughter is one of the best medicine. Exactly. You heard us laughing. And, in, or, and teasing and each it, other and while and during this and webinar. It, it, or if all that fails, punch a punching bag. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> exercise. He's mentioning exercise. I'm an yes. exercise queen uh, yes. throughout my life. But exercise up to two hours a day, not to overdo it, of course. You know, one hour cardio, one hour weightlifting. Huh, my arms here. Zach, come on. Arms, arms. Zach, oh, Zach, really Zach you were going to do okay. this last time. <laughs> See, we had the arms. See? Okay. Um, I have, one, of my, one of my boys, I literally, my, my, my ultrasound technician at 14 weeks took the ultrasound picture 3D and toured it around the country because I had a son doing this, pointing to his gun at 14 weeks. I kid you not. I will show it on our next webinar. Okay, so exercise, right. supplements. Um, mental health and we'll get through this very difficult crisis that we're going through right now and the main thing is keeping healthy keeping your immune system up because if you don't you ask I mean you know you get the flu it's like every year if you don't keep your immune system up you get the flu and well, one, 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 note, one note about the COVID, COVID, the COVID family coronavirus family the common cold flu SARS, MERS, they're all coronavirus families of, of virus, yes, right? Yes. So, so this is not like something that's totally beyond we, our total understanding. We, we, it's just a different version of it. It affects the lungs very much. It's a, it's, a, it's a breathing issue. So that's why they talk about shortness of breath, dry yes. coughs, so, yes. so forth. And that is an issue that um, is obviously, therefore, you be aware of, you know, if you're a smoker, all those things, be very aware that that will put strain on those situations. Yes. Yes. And diet things like leeks are very good, or onions and garlic, they're all the same type of family that are very good for, or green onions, very good chicken for... Chicken soup, chicken yes, soup. chicken soup with ginger, exactly. The Chinese chicken soup. Mm -hmm. yes. So mm -hmm. it's a, there yeah. you go, that's very good for that. And so it's all about being very aware of your lungs and air quality. Yes. So, so that sort of things there is, is something to look at, to be aware of. And all of these things promote yes. health. Yeah, exactly. 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 That's Remember, absolutely I see it's fabulous. 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 Yeah, there's if you want to get an MN, if any of your readers want to get an, an MN, uh, Veronica, you know, you can just give us a, give them our details and we'll you know, put them through. We can do it online, deliver whatever you need. Okay. okay? Cool. cool, cool, cool. All right, and we, I'll put a link at the bottom when we come off off this call. Sure. So thanks, thanks again for joining me, and we will be back soon. And thank you, Dr. Brooke and Zach, um, and I'm Veronica Jeans. Um, and we will be back soon with another, with talking about supplements and staying healthy, and especially because I love talking about business and how to stay how to stay healthy in business, and that's really really important right now because if you're sick, your business is not going to go anywhere. So thanks again. And, for and joining the, me. the other thing, though, just one last thing is, is we could also next time talk about our stem cells. We've got oh. to talk about our stem cells. Yes. Stuff. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye.